I'm in indeed no match for you, good sir. Your eyes, ever focused on tomorrow, have led you to the climax. Of course, I do not mean our petty little races. O oh, mighty warrior seeks the castle's summit on Lonely Island. The true climax are your adventure is close at hand. Toby never felt such competitive fire until you, good sir. Though I cannot join you, I shall send you off with a final dash. Scrap? All right, good sir. Now for the race to the end all races. Make it one that I shall never forget. Uh. What? All right. Okay, cool. All right, I just wanted to do a little bit of prep work. I can actually just... Screw you, game! Uh, I hate that. Or it's like, yeah, no, I did the thing. It just didn't register. Truly amazing, good sir. I am so glad we could part like this. I hope my final dash pleased you, good sir. Heh <laughs> heh not half bad for a scrap of paper. Even though you're an enemy, I guess I should commend you. I feel very fortunate to have such a great man as yourself witness my final moments. Hey, hey, scrap! What, why are you talking about... Like you're about to vanish at any second. I have violated the precepts and shall thusly be erased. So it is I who must bid you farewell. I shall now accept my fate for abandoning my duty as a gatekeeper. You, you mean... Oh, don't be sorry for me, good sir. This was the life of my own choosing. I treasured it, and no one can ever take that away from me. Though I may have been born a mere servant of spirits, I shall at least be allowed to do what I please at my passing, for otherwise my life would have been in vain. I fear I shall not be able to guide you the rest of the way. Wish I had a bouquet of flowers to present you at this farewell, but alas, I must part with you empty-handed. Please forgive me. Farewell, good sir, and good luck. Oh. Well then, Toby! More than a pretty little race. Perhaps I wouldn't even have gotten this far without you. With that true spirit of competition you showed me, I can face the biggest challenge of my life so far. Rip Toby. And to think, like, none of this would be available if I didn't bring the key this far. Actually, no, that would have been. These platforms would not. And I don't know if you could have gotten there without them. Oh, well, 
that's that then. I guess. Okay. Let's see then. This feels like we're headed into the boss. All right, so what do we got? Feel that weird vibe this place is giving off on me? Maybe quiet now, but I got a major case of the creeps. No, she's watching us from the shadows. She's ready to strike at any moment. You ready, Ami? Yes, I am. Excellent! I can't wait to cut loose and go berserk. Let's teach that fox-headed wench a lesson. Alright. Okay, we got lava up here with us. Plenty of fire. Alright, so if fire is going to be of use against this boss, or potentially of use, well, looks like we finally reached the top of the castle. Now? Where's that fox-headed wench hiding? The great Izen's gonna avenge Queen Hemiko! We need the sun? Yes. And Ami called for it. A constellation? Here? I, I can't believe it could shine in such an evil place. What? Oh. Ooh, this thing's cool looking. <laughs> so, I'm a Chiraktu. You have crept into my castle like a sneaky little mouse, have you? By the power of Yamai, ruler of the land of darkness, I, Ninetales, been made lord of Roshimia Coast. You needn't have come all this way just for me to kill you. I would have found you and done so just the same. Just like I did to Queen Hemiko. Yami? Land of Darkness? Never heard of either of them. And I don't remember ever giving you my okay to rule Roshimia the Coast. Yamai is the absolute ruler of all evil beings. He is the ultimate symbol of darkness. And he is nothing like those false gods of your fairy tales. False gods? You're the one going around pretending to be a priestess and building fishy hideouts like this. We're gonna expose you for what you are once and for all. <laughs> we shall see you. Furry one, prepare to face the wrath of my terrible power. Power far beyond your so-called gods.
12, crap. Alright. Get owned. All right, just you. All right. Gotcha. Well, that fight wasn't too hard. Pretty easy to fi figure out, too. Hello, new glaive. I was hoping for a reflector, but I'll take the glaive. You obtained divine instrument, Blade of Kusanagami. Jade Edged Glade attained upon the defeat of Ninetales. Hemiko's death had been avenged. Amaterasu's tenacity had proven too much for Ninetales. The fearsome beast lay defeated, its true nature laid bare for all to see. In death, it was reduced to no more than a tired old fox. Oni Island, pining for its master, raised a din and began to crumble. Like a few. Like a funerary offering, it scattered into flowers. Otomai, who had transformed into the water dragon, returned to the dragon palace, her role fulfilled. Ninetales' monstrous countenance removed from its master, moved skyward, transforming into a wisp of pure and utter blackness. There, it joined the spirit of its defeated master. Even Blight showed up, lending a hand to the fallen Ninetales. Pulsing and undulating, they intertwined in midair. Then, the black mass moved towards the land to the extreme north. Four such blackened spirits had emerged from Orochi's corpse. Perhaps these two were off to join their remaining brethren. Left behind were Ninetales' words about the Dark Lord, Yamai. Could it be that this formidable creature resided to the north? Amaterasu, sensing a dark presence, trembled. The diminutive Izin, who had accompanied Amaterasu bravely, felt a tinge of hesitation in his heart, for he had predicted that the journey would end when all thirteen powers were restored. With only one power remaining, a teeny frown creased his face. At any rate, their next target was waiting in the frozen north. Their adventure was far from over. No time to rest on your laurels, Ami. 
Defeating Ninetales didn't bring Hemiko back. But, at least you can send her spirit off with a heroic howl. Alright. Not bad. They have been throwing bosses at us left and right, man. That took way longer than it should have. Fox-headed wench. I would like to save. Alright. Not bad. Yeah, at this point, we're definitely most of the way through this game. There is not that much left. Waka! Bonjour, Amaterasu. Been on a little fox hunt over on Oni Island, have you? By the looks of it, say you had a rather rough time. Was that wily fox really so formidable? <laughs> Why, you... How, how can you say that? Hemiko's dead, you heartless swine! Hm? Oh! I see. Well... Never expected to see you acting like such a little whelp. After all, Queen Hemiko was resigned to her fate. Maybe you knew that, did you not, Amaratsu? What are you talking about? Anyway, you're the last one on Earth we want to, want to see right now. Now get out of my face, you two-bit prophet! My, my, what a fabulous mood you're in today. Her anger is enough to cloud the sky. See? I told you. That thunder is coming from north of, um, uh, Sidnashima Field. No doubt the heralds the coming of storm. Well, my Shuri, I must bid you adieu. But first, let me leave you with this. A shocking zap and it opens. Whew. Feels good to get that one off my chest. Oh, well, Mattis, I'll just make a little mark on your map. Okay. Okay. Over there, you say. Over there. Hey! Who said you could do that? Do you not plan on going there anyway, my Shuri? You know, in the direction of the evil that sprung from the wily fox's body. Okay. What are you up to this time, pretty boy? <laughs> Oh, it felt so good to prophesize after such a long break. Now you see me. Now you don't. A ravi. Alright. Alright. Looking pleased with yourself, huh? Never mind that. Know the demon out island or demon island out at sea disappeared in clouded petals before my very eyes. Water dragons calm down too. Something good's about to happen. I'm sure of it. Alright. 
Do you have anything you to say? All right. All right, what would be the best spot to warp to? I could warp back to the first village and see if the tree has anything. I think that might be for the best. Okay, that's not that's not what I wanted. All right. Back to Kamiki Village. All right. Pottery. Great. All right. Huh. Wasn't there an even bigger statue of him? That's a weird one. Hello? like those hawks that I've been seeing everywhere are a type of animal I can feed. <coughs> the only problem is they're perpetually out of reach. It's not like I can just lay seed on the ground. I need to actually... Damn invisible walls. A wooden bear. All right.
Alright. Alright, let's see. Got it. Huh. Oh, I understand. I understand. That's what this was all about. Ami! Do you know where this hole leads to? No! There was a foul smoke rising from Ninetales which flew off to the northern lands. That's what's waiting for us on the other side of this tunnel. Anyway, what's with that creepy lightning? I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Nine Tails, true form of the evil that dwells on Oni Island and seeks to destroy the Roshimia coast. Nine souls inhabit Nine Tails, each acting independently. According to the legend, Nine Tails can only be defeated or only be defended against with this celestial brush. Burning the Nine Tails will temporarily weaken it, and a celestial lightning strike to the sword causes the souls to split apart. Strike the final blow when the true form of the fox emerges. Interesting. Actually, I meant to look at the map. How many we, uh, that leads down to the field. Ah, understood. <laughs> 